Good morning. It's Tuesday, 13th of September 2016. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.r1eng.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says Disappearances major topic at UNHRC sessions. The findings of the Working Group on Enforced or Involuntary Disappearances, which visited the country in 2015, will be examined during Thursday's session in Geneva. Disappearances during the Sri Lanka's decade-long conflict will be a major topic of discussion at the 33rd session of the UN Human Rights Council. The Sri Lankan government, in a statement presented to the UNHRC before this week's meetings, said that it steadfastly committed to protecting human rights, fortifying democratic processes, and promoting good governance. The highlight in the middle says, Buddha footprints found in stone slab in Anradhapura. An archaeologically significant stone slab depicting the footprints of Buddha has been discovered in a land in Elayapatua in Anradhapura. The stone slab is 2 feet in length and with and 6 inches thick. The slab depicts two footprints of Buddha with several carvings embedded. Another highlight says, Former Deputy Minister seeks others to be indicted today. Former Deputy Minister Prem Lal Jayasekara alias Chaka Mali and six others will be indicted before the Ratnapura High Court today by the Attorney General on nine counts including charges of murder and attempted murder. And the highlight at the bottom says, Increased beer consumption among Lankan women, says President. Available statistics reveal that beer consumption among Sri Lankan women had seen a considerable increase during the past few years, President Maitripala Sirisena said yesterday. The President was speaking at a ceremony organized by the Mithuru Mithuru Organization at the Bandarnayaka Memorial International Conference Hall. President Maitripala Sisaina further said, statistics showed an increase in consumption of alcohol and cigarette among men as well. Let's now move to the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The main highlight says, thief jumps from high window dies. A 21-year-old man was killed when he jumped from a three-story building and landed on some iron rods sticking out of a parapet wall in Kirulapana yesterday, police said. Another highlight says, Tuberculosis spreading in Colombo, say CMC. TB, which is an airborne disease, is spreading in some parts of the Colombo city, Colombo Municipality's Chief Medical Officer Dr. Ruan Vijaymuni said yesterday. The highlight in the middle says, Attempt to throw a ball field with narcotics into jail filed. The Kalatara Divisional Criminal Investigation Unit said a motorcyclist who had gone near the Kalatara prison with the intention of throwing a tennis ball filled with heroin and Kerala ganja was taken into custody with three packets of heroin. And the highlight at the bottom says, Indian Minister to visit Sri Lanka soon. Indian Commerce Minister Nirmala Sitharaman will arrive in Sri Lanka soon to participate in talks on the proposed Economic and Technology Cooperation Agreement to be signed between the two countries, Acting Foreign Affairs Minister Harsha De Silva told. She was expected to visit Sri Lanka earlier, but it was postponed because of some commitments in New Delhi. And now, let's move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top highlight says, Sri Lanka to supply medicine to Maldives. Another highlight says, Protest over garbage recycling plant in Ekala. People residing in Ekala and its suburbs were up in arms against the government yesterday over its decision to set up garbage recycling plant in an abundant 25-acre land in the neighborhood. The highlight in the middle says, Joint opposition to pay on behalf of Major Vikramagay. The Administrative Committee of the Joint Opposition has consented to, on behalf of former Army Major Vimal Vikramage, pay a sum of 2 million rupees to the relatives of an LTTE cadre. And the highlight at the bottom says, ASP told to submit report. The Police Commission has sought an immediate report from the ASP for Hamban Thutta, who is probing the disappearance of a youth who had disappeared after being comprehended of a theft of several sacks of paddy from a warehouse in Hamban Thutta on 5th September. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.